In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a YouTube feed on your WordPress website for absolutely free. To get started on your WordPress site, on the left hand side, hover over plugins and click on add new plugin. Next, let's search for YouTube feed. And here's the one we want. Go ahead and click on install now. And once installed, click activate. And there we go, the plugin has been installed and activated. So we can begin the setup. Click on launch the setup wizard. And here on step number one, we'll have to enter a YouTube API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video tutorial in the top right corner of your screen, or follow our written guide in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, click Add API Key, then paste it here like this. After that, click Add. Alright, our API key has been added successfully, so we can click on OK. Next, on to step number two, configuring the features. So with the setup wizard, we're installing YouTube Feed Pro to display our YouTube channel feeds. And next, we have options to install other social feed plugins by Smash Balloon too for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. If you'd like to install these plugins and try them out, you can leave this toggled on. Underneath that, you can also choose to install Click Social, which is a social media management tool that allows you to post on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter all from your WordPress website. And lastly, we also have the Reviews Feed plugin, which allows you to display reviews from Google and Yelp. If you want to try these plugins out, you can leave all of them toggled on. And next, if you scroll down, you can learn about some of the pro features too. And once you're ready to proceed, click Next. And on this tip, you can also see other plugins that you might be interested in. We've got all-in-one SEO for the SEO needs for your website. We've got WP Forms, the best drag and drop forms builder. And we've got Monster Insights as well, the leading WordPress analytics plugin. If you'd like to try these out, you can leave those toggled on too. And once, and once you're ready, click install selected plugins. And there we go, we're all set up. So we can now scroll down and click on complete setup without upgrading. Now the plugin is set up, so we can get started with creating our YouTube feed. Click on add new. And for the first step of creating our YouTube feed, we'll have to select the feed type. With the free version of the plugin, you can only create a feed of videos from a YouTube channel. If you have the pro version, you can display videos from any YouTube playlist, videos that match any specific search term, live streams, and more. So for this demonstration, we can keep it as is and click next. For the second step, we'll have to connect our YouTube channel. To do this, you can paste your YouTube channel handle, ID, or username. For this tutorial, let's display the videos from the WP Beginner YouTube channel. So I can enter in their handle like this. There we go. After that, click on Next. And just like that, we have an instant preview of our new YouTube feed inside the plugin. It's displaying nine videos from the WP Beginner YouTube channel. You can see the video thumbnails, a play button, the title of the video when you hover over it, and down at the bottom, we have a load more and subscribe button too. Our feed is now ready to be embedded inside our WordPress web page, but before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Here, you can customize the layout of your YouTube feed. Currently, we have the grid layout selected, which displays your YouTube videos in rows and columns. Next, we have the gallery layout. This one displays your latest YouTube video in a larger thumbnail and a video player at the top of the feed, followed by the rest of the videos in a grid. And third is the list layout. This one displays your YouTube videos in a single column list. And if you have the pro version, you can also check out the carousel layout. But for now, let's continue with the gallery layout, this one here. And if I scroll down, we can also choose how many columns we want inside the feed at the bottom right here. Currently, it's set to three, but if you want to modify it, just enter the number of columns you want to display. So let's go type in four. Instantly, our feed is updated to display four columns instead of three. So you can see how that works. I'm going to change that back to three. Underneath that, you can also choose how many videos you want to display inside the feed initially. We've got it set to nine right now. As you can see inside the preview, let's modify it. Just enter the number of videos you want to display. Let's go type in 12. And our YouTube feed is now displaying 12 videos at the bottom instead of nine. If you're happy with the changes, click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your YouTube feed, Go into the Customize tab and click on Color Scheme. Here you can see that currently it's set to Inherit from Theme, which means that your YouTube feed will automatically match the design of your WordPress website. Alternatively, you can go with the Light Theme, Dark Theme, or even a Custom Theme where you can select the exact colors you want, just like this. Once you have a color scheme you're happy with, click Save on the top right corner. Okay, now that you know how to customize your YouTube feed, let me show you how we can embed it inside WordPress. To embed it, click on the Embed button on the top right corner, copy the dedicated shortcode for the feed, and click on Add to a Page. Next, select the page you want to embed your feed to, and click Add. And here we are now on our WordPress page, and to embed our YouTube feed, all you have to do is add a shortcode block, which is this one here, and paste the shortcode that we just copied, like this. Once that's done, click on Save, and we can go check it out on the live website. And now on our live WordPress website, here is our brand new YouTube feed featuring the latest videos from the WP Beginner YouTube channel. Since we selected the gallery layout, we can see the latest video and a video player at the top of the feed. If the site visitor wants to check this out, they can click on it like this. That video will automatically start playing right here at the top of the feed. Underneath that, we have the rest of the videos. And let's say if you wanted to watch one of these, just click on it, and that video will start playing instead. And if I scroll down all the way to the bottom, we have a load more button. 
you go ahead and click on that, that will load additional videos inside your YouTube feed directly on your WordPress website. And lastly, we also have a subscribe button. If site visitors click on that, that will take them directly to your YouTube channel, making it really easy to convert site visitors into YouTube subscribers. And there you have it. That's how we can create an embedded YouTube feed like this on your WordPress website for free. If you like what you see so far, let me tell you about the premium version of the plugin, YouTube Feed Pro. With YouTube Feed Pro, you can create additional feed types such as the playlist feed and more. When creating your feed, you get access to layout templates, which also includes the carousel layout that allows you to swipe through the videos inside your feed like this. You can even moderate your feed with powerful filters, giving you control of the exact videos you want to display on your site. If you want to check it out, visit smashballoon.com or you can try out the free version today as I've shown you in this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you run into any issues, our support team will be happy to help. Please consider subscribing to our channel for social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.